planning a trip to Malta? Here are some things you should avoid doing. Starting with the food, don't anticipate a culinary experience akin to Italy or Greece. While the local cuisine is brimming with fresh seafood and unique flavors, it may not satisfy the discerning palates accustomed to the rich diversity and sophistication of Italian or Greek gastronomy. Moving on to landmarks, one of the most iconic, the Azure Window in Gozo is no longer standing. This majestic natural limestone arch, featured in several films and television series, sadly collapsed into the sea in early 2017. While it's a loss, Malta is still rich in stunning landscapes and historical sites that can leave you in awe. So set your expectations right when it comes to food and famous landmarks. Remember, every journey is a discovery, and Malta offers its own unique treasures waiting to be explored. Exploring Malta requires some planning. Here are a couple of things you should be mindful of. Firstly, when it comes to dining, don't expect to just waltz into a restaurant at dinner time. It's a good idea to make reservations ahead of time, unless you're a night owl who doesn't mind eating late. Now let's talk about getting around. The public buses, while budget-friendly and convenient from Valletta, can be a bit unpredictable. You might find yourself wasting precious vacation time waiting for one to show up. So if time is of the essence, consider taking a taxi instead. And about driving in Malta, let's just say it's not for the faint-hearted. The local drivers, they've got a reputation for being a bit reckless and traffic signs and speed limits seem to be more of a suggestion than a rule. So, plan your meals and commutes wisely to avoid unnecessary hassles. Before we reveal the top three things to avoid, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about your favorite site in Malta. Now let's continue. Our next point is a must for all the Game of Thrones fans out there. You might be tempted to visit the famous site on Manuel Island off Sliema at Fort Manuel. But hold your dragons! This site isn't open to the public except for a specific day, maybe once a month, and even then it must be prearranged. So, to avoid disappointment, make sure you check the availability before you set sail. Moving on to the language. Don't expect to understand Maltese, a fascinating mix of Arabic, Italian, and English. But worry not, most people in Malta speak English, one of the official languages, so you'll have no trouble communicating. Remember, not everything is as it seems in Malta. So, do your research beforehand. Now, let's get to the most crucial points on our list. Number 4. Don't expect great coffee. It's not that you can't find a good cup of joe, but it may not be up to the standards of your favorite hometown barista. Moving on to number 3. Don't drink the water. While it's safe for brushing your teeth, the desalinization process can leave the water tasting a bit off. Buying bottled water may be a better option for your taste buds. Now for number 2 don't plan on using Uber. In Malta, flat rate taxis are your best bet. There's a booth at arrivals where you prepay based on your destination city. Make sure to have cash on hand. Buses are also an option if your accommodation is close to the drop-off point. And the most important point, remember to dress appropriately. Malta is a conservative country, so it's always best to respect the local customs. With these tips in mind, you're now ready to explore Malta like a pro.